everybody. Welcome back to the Black Hills and Eastern Railroad. Today we're going to take a look at a method that I've learned for installing LEDs in modern HO scale diesels. You'll need some basic tools take. such as a soldering iron, hobby knife, side cutters, um, some toothpicks, and of course your super glue or CA as I call it in this video, uh, some um, adhesive accelerant zip kicker, um, a test battery, and probably some alligator clips, um, and of course your solder, and then of course the the supplies that are pivotal to this project, the uh, LN341 detail part from Details West, which is that uh, headlight enhancement um, detail part, and the of course the 0402 surface mount LEDs. Those are commonly available uh, online. Um, I've got mine, I believe, off of eBay, but you can get those several different places. You want the pre-wired type. You will also want to have some masking tape on hand, as well as, if I didn't mention it before, a toothpick or two to move CA around. I'm going to apply uh, this method in this video to a Athern Genesis GP9 that I purchased a long time ago, which um, I discovered a headlight was burnt out on it. Um, but you can use this uh, methodology on just about any other um, diesel locomotive that's on the market that'll accept that uh, LN341 part. I've used this on Athern Blue Box units. I've used it actually on the, uh, the headlight housing on the SW12 project that I did in a previous video and some other ones that are I've, I'll feature in upcoming videos. Um, your mileage may vary, but I found this a pretty reliable methodology to, to light up uh, the headlight housings on modern diesels. I hope you'll stay with me and uh, take a look at how we're going to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is tin the end of this resistor here. This is a 1K ohm uh, quarter watt resistor. And then we're going to attach, and we're just going to tack one leg of the LED. We're going to use the red here. Um, doesn't matter which end, which cathode or anode end you put the uh, resistor on. Uh, both, neither, neither way will affect the performance or the longevity of the resistor. And then we'll test this on the battery. So I've got my 9-volt battery here with the test harness on it and alligator clips. And I've clicked the... Uh, the black wire to the black on the LED and I'll test the uh, and there it lights up. I have been um, twisting these the very carefully um, just twisting them between my fingers to keep those wires together and neat um, and to give it a little bit more strength so you can uh, shape the wire to what your needs are for that situation. So um, kind of braiding these together helps them um, be a little bit easier to work with. So we got one more test here and it looks like that one's working too. Very good. So you can kind of see it a little bit on the video here. Uh, this lens here is uh, has the flat back up and the uh, rounded outside the finish side is uh, facing up here on the bench. Um, we will be putting these, um, the finish side, down onto this tape to hold them in place so they don't jump around as we're gluing, and we'll glue the LED to the back side of the lens. So what I'm going to do with this LN341 lens is cut it off the sprue here as close to the round lens as I can and keeping a finger on it. And then I'll go ahead and transfer the lens via the X-Acto knife, and these are so light and small a lot of times they'll just uh, self-adhere to the uh, X-Acto knife, the hobby knife, and you can carry them over and put them on the tape as you as you need to. I'll apply a little bit of medium CA here again. I'm going to apply some zip kicker on that and hold that in place for 25 or 30 seconds. So I have here my Athern Genesis GP9. Um, we are going to replace a burnt out front headlight with a LED. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is remove the shell. You may find it handy, uh, as do I. Uh, to have some kind of a cup or a container around to 
um, catch the uh, detail parts as they come off the locomotive. And that cover is going to slip right out of there. We're going to do the same on the back side here. Sometimes it helps to have a needle nose plier handy to pull that screw out of there because the last few threads catch. Um, not quite out of there. And I feel the uh, last thread going over the... Uh... There we go. Pull the coupler and draft gear out of there. You should be able to pull the uh, shell off now. Just very gently pull it up and out. And here's what we find. Um, we're going to have to thread wire over the top of the, the cab interior there. We're going to have to take this... Uh, these two plugs off. Actually, I'm going to use a screwdriver to do that. These are just press fit on. That one's fine. There's nothing the matter with that one. I'll reach in there with a, another needle nose plier and try and peel out the wires that are there. So these are just the standard bulbs. I'm going to thread this uh, wire through that headlight housing there. We'll do the bottom one first. So I'm going to take one of these wires and fit it through the top headlight housing. I've already got the uh, bottom one installed. And uh, pull that through with my needle nose plier. So what I finally found out on this deal is, is that we need to use, there's a an output marked uh, plus 14 here on the uh, rear of the decoder and what I've done is temporarily soldered in a uh, 1000 ohm uh, quarter watt resistor and that works fine so I'm going to tidy this up and put it back together so I'm going to uh, pre-place a hunk of heat shrink here and then tin this wire and make this all nice and tidy so then what we'll do here is also similarly tin the LED excuse me, we'll tin the uh, resistor, and then we'll disconnect this other side and make this nice and neat as well. While we're at it, we'll uh, retin that connection, and then tidy this wire up. So to recap, what I've done here is, is I've uh, got these uh, micro SMD 0402 uh, surface mount LEDs uh, glued onto the back sides of the LN341 Details West detail part. Uh, that's a henlight enhancement. And I have soldered um, a wire into the plus 14 um, connector on the Athern. Um, actually, it's a uh, Soundtrax board in an Athern engine. And I'm about ready to uh, put this all back together here and uh, see how she goes. So here we are in the uh, staging yard with the 1742, um, the uh, sound up and the uh, headlights on, the new LEDs installed, uh, the rotary beacon flashing, that's a uh, that's an Atherin uh, uh, factory install there. Um, I did not do that. Um, I believe that's an incandescent bulb there. We may have to replace that too at some point. But for now it's working and uh, all is well. So thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Hit that like button, uh, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.